Bill Stevens at the Russo and Steel Auction, Scottsdale. Why, it's the Roadrunner from outer space. A 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner Superbird. Very expensive automobile, but how expensive? That's why we're here. Come back and watch, and we'll show you what happens. The Russo and Steel Collector Car Auction has assembled more than 500 of the finest European sports cars, American muscle cars, hot rods, and customs for their annual auction in Scottsdale, Arizona. Thousands of enthusiasts come to take part in the most unique and exciting event in automobile collecting. Stay with us, and you'll be part of the incredible experience that is Russo and Steel. Chappelle. Welcome to sunny Scottsdale, Arizona. We're here for the Russo and Steel Classic Car Auction. Joining me are Bill Stevens and Keith Martin, both car experts, and they're going to put their knowledge to the test today in what they call a speed round. They're going to have about a minute to look over the car end to end, inside and out. They're going to assess its collectability, and then they're going to estimate where the bidding will stop once the car's on the block. Does it sound like fun? Hey, play along with us. Keith? On this speed round, a 1968 Shelby GT500 Renter Racer. You didn't know that Shelby had Hertz cars in 1968, did you? Well, they did. Not a whole lot of them. This one has had a rotisserie restoration, but got a few issues on this car. The other thing is, I'd love to give this car a $100,000 number, but it was a rental car. We don't know what kind of condition this car is really in, so I'm going to go $80,000. You know, Bill, by 1968, the thrill was starting to die off for Shelby. Yes, anything with the Shelby name attached is worth a lot of money, but 65 and 66, those were the race cars built for the street. By 68, less Shelby, more Ford. I'm going to say this car, in this condition, is a $75,000 car. All right, hey, let's keep the train moving right here. Ticket of gear, lot number 498, got a 1968 Shelby GT350 Hertz. This 1968 GT350 was produced on January 12th, 1968. Came off a two-year... Yeah, I like the inside of this car. It's all straight. Restoration. Nice restoration on this car. Black interior contrast nice with the red. It's not a lot of mystique about the 68 Hertz is the way there was about the 66s. Right, and you know what? A lot of people don't even know there were Hertz cars in 1968. You don't hear people talk about them a lot. They didn't make a lot of them, but this you know, uh, is kind of a rarity. 60. Got it. 70. 70. 65. Got it. Now 70. 65. 70. Got it. Now 75. 70 grand. Number one, 75. I got 70,000. Number one, 75. Got it. Now 80. 75,000. Number one, 80. Got it now, 85. Got it now, 90. Now, 90. 85, 90. 85,000. Not a bit of now, 90. Now, 90. Now, 90 grand. Not at 85, 90. And I got 90,000. Number one, 95. Marty Hills in 90 grand. Number one, 95. 90,000. Not a bit of now, 95. I got 91. 91. Number about 92. 92. Number about 93. 92,000. 3. Number about 4. 94. Number about 5. 5. 5. 95. Number about 6,000 dollars. Number about 7. 7. Number about 8,000. Number about 9,000. And now 100 grand. 100 grand. 100 grand. 100,000 dollars. It's up to you, sir. 100,000. Selling the car all the way. I got 99. Now 100,000. 99,000. Number about 100,000 dollars on it. Don't give up now. It's your turn. It's just like checkers. Put your man out there. Now, if we're going to do that, we're going like a billy goat. 99.5, 100,000. 100,000. 100,000, Keith. Not a KR, former rental car. And it's pulling some pretty attractive numbers. Yeah. I've got $100,000. Now 101. I got 100,000. Number one, 101,000. 101. It's up to you, sir. It's your turn. 101. Shelby's have been so hot. But the question is, even even though they have started to cool off, has the market gap disappeared between what the sellers will pay and what the buyers will what the sellers will take and what the buyers will pay? And you folks at home, if you go to eBay and try to figure out what these cars are worth, don't do it because you'll see a lot of inflated numbers on the internet for some of these cars. Where we are tonight is going to tell you what people with the money are going to pay for an automobile like this. Going once, going twice. Oh five. Third and final call for $104,000. So what are we going to do? Car is sold. It's $104,000. Blows both of us out of the water, but especially me. Uh, I, feel, I feel so bad for you, Keith. <clears throat> 103. That's it. The hundred, final number, $103,000. Hey, 
just chatting with Robert here. Now, Robert, you have a smile from ear to ear. How do you feel about your purchase? I feel great. It's a great purchase. Why this car? It's a 350, all original, very special Hertz edition. Uh, been after one of these cars for a long time. Very really? excited to have it. Who's going to get the first ride? I am. You are. Who's going to be the first passenger? <laughs> My wife. Now tell me, is this car fast? Yes, it is. Very now, fast. speaking of fast, we're going to check out a 67 Corvette Stingray with 400 horsepower. Let's check it out.